With a war between humans and animals about to break out, an astronaut dog travels back in time and must use his powers to maintain peace between the species. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Star Dog and Turbo Cat, from 2019. In 1969, during the space race, a NASA employee called David meets astronaut Dog Buddy, who is about to become the first animal to travel into space. Before he leaves, David hands him a bag of food and asks him to let the dog into the rocket pod. But Buddy gets scared and the man has to comfort him, taking the medal from his collar and saying that he'll be waiting to give it back to him when he returns. More confident, Buddy hugs the human and agrees to get on the rocket, but soon after takeoff, something goes wrong and the alarm starts ringing. Suddenly, the POD's panel shorts out until it shuts down completely, causing the heating system to stop working and freezing Buddy's body. Some time later, the astronaut dog wakes up in a garbage can and is confused as to where he is. Just then, someone passes by on the other side of the street and Buddy decides to go to him for help, but for some reason, the teenager gets scared and runs off. Seeing the scene, a woman is also terrified and throws a bag in his face, as well as calling the police. Confused, the dog decides to communicate with David, but when he looks at the communicator watch, he discovers that 50 years have passed since he left for Earth. Frightened, Buddy starts to walk backwards and ends up stumbling into the POD's hatch. While looking for the rest of the spaceship, Buddy sees a police car and starts running after it to ask for help. After spending the day chasing the truck, the policeman finally stops and Buddy hears someone calling for help in the back of the truck. Just above, he finds a dog called Victor in a cage and tries to help him, but ends up falling out of the trunk. At that moment, the policeman gets out of the car and picks up the cage to take the Rottweiler into the kennel, leaving him so desperate that all he can do is beg for help. Not knowing what to do, Buddy looks back and sees a sign saying that animals are forbidden in the city, and runs into an alley before the policeman can see him. While trying to figure out where he ended up, Buddy ends up ruining a recent graffiti and Felix shows up to punish him, introducing himself as a turbo cat and trapping him with an electric cable. Because of the shock, the dog ends up blacking out and Felix decides to take him away, putting him in his technological car and in taking him to his hiding place in an abandoned museum. When he arrives, Felix takes off his cape and is greeted by Sinclair, his robot butler. After spending all day on the street, the feline Bruce Wayne lies down in his chair to take a nap, but Buddy wakes up and asks to be let out. To convince him, the dog tries to tell his story and says that he came from 1969, but Felix obviously doesn't believe him. The cat then says he's noticed that he's new in town and decides to tell him a bit about how things work there, saying that after a street animal is captured by policeman Peck, they are taken to the pound and never seen again. After explaining everything, Felix tells Buddy he can leave now and asks him to close the door, but the dog refuses, saying he hopes he gets caught by Peck. The cat then says he will never go to the pound and shows all his advanced weapons. Confused by so much technology, Buddy tries to get David to come and pick him up, but obviously no one answers and Felix laughs it off, saying that no one in town is going to look for a dog. Buddy then remembers that David said he would look for the capsule and has the idea of waiting next to the object. Tired of hearing him talk about humans, Felix kicks the dog out and starts watching recordings of the moment Buddy arrived on Earth. Analyzing the images more calmly, the kitten realizes that the rabbit he is in love with has something to do with the capsule and changes his mind on the spot, deciding to help Buddy. On their way out of the museum, Felix tells him a little more about what he's planning when Peck shows up and tries to capture them, forcing them both to flee on foot. Being in a car, the policeman soon catches up with them and grabs Felix's cape with a rod, forcing the cat to leave his precious fabric behind. In a panic, Buddy closes his eyes and starts running super fast, even with Felix on his back, crossing the city in the blink of an eye and leaving the car behind. On the other side of town, Buddy stops near a store called Megastore, which is where Cassidy the rabbit usually lives. With little time left before the store opens, Felix enters the place in stealth mode, but Buddy is much less careful and falls on the cat. Inside the store, the astronaut gets distracted by the toys and decides to pick up a rubber trolley. While walking around the place, Buddy passes the store's detectors, who realize that he is approaching the exit with an unpaid toy. As a result, the store is completely locked down and the police are called. Desperate, Felix tries to leave through the front door and realizes that a girl's bicycle is blocking the way. As soon as it sees the human, the cat tries to scare her away, but this only makes her get off the bike and grab her cell phone to call the police. Realizing that this isn't going to work, Buddy tries a different approach and makes a cute face at the girl, convincing her to give up calling the police and take the bike to leave. With the way unblocked, the two go back into the store and start eating. During the meal, Felix explains that everything in the town was normal until Peck's daughter was attacked, 
which convinced everyone that animals were dangerous and should be locked up in the pound. While talking, they are spotted by someone holding a flashlight and try to hide among the cereal boxes, but end up knocking over the pile and revealing their location. Luckily for them, Peck isn't in the store and whoever was holding the lantern was just a cardboard doll being controlled by Bullion, a fish who thinks this is his headquarters. With Felix about to devour Bullion, Cassidy shows up to intervene, but before she can say anything, Peck also arrives and they have to change hiding places. In Felix's secret cave, Cassidy talks about the space mission Buddy took part in and reveals that the capsule was powered by a hyperlithium crystal, which they intend to use to power a robot called the Guardian. Curious, Buddy asks how the crystal could help and Todd appears to explain. The cat scientist then shows them that his inventions are powered by a small piece of crystal, but that if they get all the hyperlithium in the capsule, they can energize the Guardian and protect the city's animals. After the explanation, Cassidy invites the dog to join the guard, saying that they need him to find the hyperlithium. Trying to find the capsule, Todd connects to the security cameras and realizes that the object is already with Peck, so they have no choice but to go to the kennel to retrieve it. Then, Felix uses his futuristic weapons to cover the security cameras with a black goo. With a harpoon, he goes to the safe and unlocks the door causing a short, but when he gets there, he finds only Victor's cage. Desperate, the Rottweiler asks if he's come to rescue him and seems quite excited, but Felix doesn't care and says he must have wandered into the wrong place. Because of the barking and meowing, Peck asks the dog to be quiet and his gun accidentally fires at it, hitting it with a shower of goo that causes the Rottweiler to pass out. At that moment, Peck approaches the cell and Felix has to hold onto the ceiling with a harpoon. While the policeman is talking on the phone, the object starts to come loose and the cat almost falls on top of the human, but Buddy reaches through the ventilation duct and manages to hold it at the last second. After the policeman leaves the place, the two go just below and leave the cells, but Felix's gun goes off and he starts shooting non-stop trapping Buddy in a net and setting off flares. As if that wasn't bad enough, the equipment also spills oil on the floor and Felix ends up slipping, causing them both to be captured by Peck. With the animals in the capsule in his truck, the policeman begins to drive to headquarters with his daughter Alex, the girl on the bicycle. Looking at the animals, the young woman asks why her father doesn't like them and the man says they're dirty creatures, but when Alex tries to argue, the policeman just asks her to turn around, ending the conversation. Now that there's no one looking at them, Cassidy appears and opens her companion's cage, saying that all they have to do is wait for the bombs that Todd has set up. In a few seconds the explosion happens and Peck ends up losing control of the car, causing everyone to get involved in an accident. When he wakes up, Buddy realizes that Alex has stayed in the truck, which is about to fall off the cliff. To save the girl, the dog holds onto the roadblock while Felix gets in the car to rescue her, but the metal structure can't support the weight and ends up breaking, causing everyone to fall off the cliff. Down below, Felix just watches the truck coming towards him, but just as he's about to be crushed, Buddy appears and manages to hold onto the vehicle as if it were nothing, revealing that he also has super strength. Luckily, all this happens in front of a security camera and the news spreads the word about the dog and cat version of Batman and Superman, showing everyone that animals can be good and have even saved a human. Outside the museum, Alex wakes up and starts petting the heroes as a way of saying thank you, which makes Felix melt for the first time. Suddenly, Peck also wakes up and the animals are forced to hide, returning to the museum where Todd realizes that the hyperlithium is emitting strange radiation. To avoid accidents, he keeps the object inside an artifact he has built and says that it must remain there until they have finished the Guardian. Because he likes Alex, Buddy tries to convince the other animals that there are other solutions than going to war with the humans, but everyone is resentful and accuses David of abandoning Buddy, which makes the astronaut dog very upset. While Buddy goes for a walk, Cassidy goes to get the other parts of the robot and leaves Felix in charge of taking care of the hyperlithium, but instead, the cat ends up sleeping and Peck shows up with the car to pick up the capsule. Although he finds it strange, Buddy approaches and wakes Felix up to tell him that the policeman has already left the hospital, but the cat can't understand how he found the capsule. Thinking about it, he comes to the conclusion that Peck has captured Cassidy and forced her to talk about the capsule, making him determined to save his beloved. To do this, Felix calls the Catmobile and tries to use the autopilot to find the pickup. But the computer gets all buggy and doesn't help at all, turning on the smokescreen and throwing a carton of milk in Turbo Cat's face. They still manage to get close and Felix asks Buddy to fire the harpoon at the truck. The dog accidentally hits the capsule and knocks the object out of the trunk, which makes Buddy want to back off. Felix obviously refuses and decides to leave the hyperlidium behind, continuing the chase to save Cassidy. Buddy then holds the steering wheel and tries to turn the Catmobile around. But this ends up causing them to go off the road and crash head-on into a tree. 
With the vehicle damaged, the two drive back to the museum and end up reaching the capsule, but when they get closer, they discover that the object was actually just a sunshade. As soon as he realizes this, Felix realizes that they have been tricked and that Peck has used it to make them move away from the museum, leaving the base unprotected. When he returns to the place, Felix realizes that all his equipment has been destroyed, but he doesn't have time to mourn, because Cassidy shows up and starts fighting with him for sleeping. The rabbit continues to freak out and says that Peck took Victor, Todd and all the hyperlidium because of him. Frustrated, the female says that Peck will lock everyone up in the kennel and that there's nothing she can do now, but Felix and Buddy disagree and decide to enter the museum to track down the object. Despite this, the two start arguing with each other and end up being captured by Victor. At that moment, Todd appears and says that now the capsule is finally his property, revealing that he was trained by David just like Buddy. When it came time to choose someone, the human preferred to send the dog into space, which made Todd feel betrayed. Because of this, the cat decided to run away and began to study hyperlidium on its own, discovering that it is capable of prolonging cats' lives. After the capsule fell to Earth, Todd started looking for the rest of the crystal and used Buddy to do it. When he finally got the capsule, Todd asked Victor to lure them away from the museum while he finished his research. As soon as he realizes that it was Victor who was driving the truck, Buddy asks where Peck is and Todd says he's coming to check out the museum. At that moment, the policeman appears and Todd takes the opportunity to test his hyperlidium cannon, which makes the human behave like a dog. After proving the power of his new weapon, Todd transforms the cannon into a hyperlithium bomb that will detonate in a few hours, making all humans submissive to him. While the cat is explaining his plan, the roof collapses on the villains' heads and Sinclair appears to help, freeing Felix and Buddy. Even under the rubble, Victor manages to fire a high-voltage cable that hits Sinclair, burning out the robot circuitry and shutting it down completely. Confident of victory, Todd appears and humiliates Buddy, saying that he was sent into space because David wanted to use a dumb animal as a guinea pig, as well as saying that the human didn't love him and will never return. Upset, Buddy runs away and lets Todd savor his victory. Now that no one can stop him, the cat places Peck at the entrance to the museum and shows off his new pet on a big screen, attracting other people. From the treetops, the other guard animals watch hopelessly. At that moment, Alex appears and is very upset to realize what the animals have done to her father. Noticing the girl's sadness, Felix is determined to fight and goes to Buddy, who is sitting pensively in a garbage dump. To get him excited again, the cat tells him about Alex and says he needs his help to prove to the girl that animals can be good. Buddy replies that Felix shouldn't care about humans and that they're all monsters, but the cat tells him that he's wrong and that people really can be good. Felix says that David must be looking for him and Buddy replies that he's just a dog like any other, but the cat tells him that he's wrong and that he's actually a real hero. Felix recalls that Buddy has been in space, and that he can also run faster than anyone and has super strength, making him the star dog. To prove it, Turbo Cat shows him the cape he sewed for him and Buddy is thrilled with the gift, finally agreeing to help him save the world. In front of the museum, Todd is showing off his pet human when he notices something strange approaching. Before he knows it, Star Dog and Turbo Cat appear and challenge Todd, saying that they will show humans how animals can be trusted. The genius cat then says that he has spent 50 years devising this plan and that he is already prepared for it, activating the hyperlidium cannon that hits Victor, turning him into the canine version of Superman just like Buddy. Using his supersonic bark, the Rottweiler forces the pair of heroes to retreat. Together with the rest of the guard, the two begin to think of a way to deal with the villains and come up with the idea of using catnip against him. Just the thought of that thing hypnotizes Felix and Buddy has to go to the megastore alone to get it. After the dog leaves, Bullion takes Turbo Cat out of hypnosis and starts thinking of a way to deal with Victor, coming to the conclusion that they can use the remains of Felix's equipment to create a tank. From inside the aquarium, Bullion controls the vehicle and goes after Victor, firing several shots of that black goo at him. Frightened, the dog runs behind a bench and kicks the object towards the tank, which ends up damaging the cannon. Now that he can no longer shoot, the tuned dog lunges for a freezing breath, but Bullion is quicker and takes the opportunity to eject towards him, entering the Rottweiler's mouth and knocking him inside out. Even so, Victor is not defeated and Bullion is forced to return to the aquarium, allowing the dog to attack Felix. As he has no chance of defeating him, the cat tries to convince the dog to change sides and makes a cute face, but Victor is immune to this and decides to throw the museum globe to crush him. Luckily, Buddy appears at the last second and manages to hold on to the giant ball, throwing it back in the direction of Victor, who runs into the museum to avoid being hit, getting trapped inside. As the heroes celebrate their victory, Todd appears and says that he still has other cards up his sleeve, 
revealing that the Guardian is already fully built and has the Hyperlidium bomb attached. To stop him wiping out humanity, the Guard members tie Felix up and Buddy opens the pot of catnip, but for some reason, the smell has no effect on Todd. The Kitty Scientist then says that the Guardian has a super filter and that no smell can enter the armor, jumping towards them and throwing the pot away. Continuing the attack, Todd tries to hit the enemies with the Guardian and Buddy defends with his bare hands. To help, Felix calls up his Catmobile and shoots out some cables that trap the Guardian's arm. Taking advantage of the gap, the two try to drive away, but Todd manages to break free and catches the vehicle, throwing the pair to the ground. Using the super armor, the cat tries to step on the two, who have to run to avoid being crushed. With the heroes trapped in an alley, Todd drops a water tank on them, forcing the pair to hide inside a warehouse. With no way of defending themselves, the heroes are easily captured by the Guardian, but just as they are about to be crushed, Cassidy appears and opens the window of the place, allowing a ray of sunlight to enter and make the cat fall asleep. While sleeping, Todd bumps into the lever that releases Buddy and Felix. Thinking they've won, the pair of heroes begin to talk to Cassidy, but are interrupted by Todd who says that the Guardian's windshield is dark, preventing light from entering. Totally overpowered, Todd exposes one of the robot's weapons and activates the laser sight to make sure he hits the target, but as soon as he sees the point of light, his cat instinct kicks in and he starts chasing the laser non-stop. Taking advantage of the gap, Cassidy throws her baton which locks the Guardian's knee mechanism, causing it to fall and eject Todd. Even so, the Hyperlidium bomb is active and will soon detonate the city. To avoid this, Felix gets into the Guardian and starts flying away, planning to get out of the atmosphere and prevent the explosion from hitting innocent people. Communicating over the radio, Cassidy says that the robot will be destroyed by the bomb and Felix replies that this is the only way, thanking everyone for their help. Before saying goodbye, Turbo Cat talks to Buddy and says that David knew about the dangers of Hyperlithium, which is why he trusted Star Dog to protect it. In his last words, Felix says that David is a good person and that he is certainly still looking for Buddy, which makes the dog extremely excited. Because of his friend's words, Star Dog becomes the real Superman and awakens the ability to fly, going after Felix and saving him just as the Guardian explodes. Safe and sound, the two return to the city where they discover that Peck is finally back to normal. Happy. Alex tells his father everything that happened and the policeman finally realizes that the animals aren't bad, considering the guard members to be real heroes. Excited, Alex asks to stay with them and Peck agrees, saying that Grandpa will love it. Just then, Peck's father appears and Buddy immediately recognizes him as David. After 50 years, the retired scientist goes to his best canine friend and finally returns the medal from the collar, considering Buddy's mission to be complete. After all this, Peck retires from the police force and reopens the Astronomical Museum with Alex and David, as well as repairing the Sinclair to help serve visitors. On the other hand, Star Dog and Turbo Cat decide to take on the role of superheroes and protect the city with Guard, fighting crime together. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.